Normally what we do is um, people call us because they're having some sort of experience in their home. My name is Mike Rowland and I've com been commonly referred to as the ghost guy. I remove negative energies and spirits from people's homes and their own energy field. I've been doing this work for about uh, just a little over 10 years. The first thing I do um, is create sacred space. What we'll do here is just um, a state that we're fully invoked and prepared for today's work. That all protections are in place, protective energies standing against anything that may harm, interfere or interrupt us or this work in some negative way, regardless of source, whether within or without. So I'll just start and go around this way, is that all right? Yeah. Okay. When I walk through the house to identify where the energies are, um, it's, it's done through, um, I guess I sense their energy and I sense where they are. Uh, my body gets hot and then I sort of ask some questions internally. So there's three here in the kitchen. They're all female, um, 50 to 60 years of age, all of them. It's mostly feelings or, or suddenly it's a knowing. And I just have, after 10 years, it's like a muscle, you know, I've worked it and worked it and worked it. So when I started, I could hardly tell anything. And now uh, it's very sensitive. There's one in here. Um, a female in her 20s uh, when she died. Um, died accidentally. Earthbound spirits, or ghosts as we commonly refer to them, are really just the, the essence, the soul, the spirit of a person who has died and, the, and their essence or their soul has not crossed over into the light. In her 80s, about 83 years of age, died of old age, died of a heart attack, died of a heart attack. There's a window of opportunity where they can do this and uh, then after they decide not to, or for some reason they can't find their way, then they remain trapped here. So it looks like there's seven all together, seven spirits. Um, all of them, most of them female, except for one who's a male. The clearing process is really about calling upon, you know, guides, angels, and source level energy. And we use the term guides and angels because those are the words that we have uh, to use. With the gratitude and love in our hearts, we respectfully request that those energies, those beings who are present for our and humanity's highest good and benefit, that you gently remove these seven earthbound spirits and escort them to the light, to their appropriate place in the light, where they will be met and greeted by loving beings. They actually do the work and I'm just a channel for, for that. The crossover is now fully complete. It is. Most of the time people just feel lighter, they feel better, they feel more optimistic. So that's the process, so your house is now clear. I'm not trying to change anybody's beliefs. Um, the people who call me, they, some of them still don't believe even though they're calling me. Everybody's entitled to their beliefs and if they, uh, if they don't believe they have something happening in their house or they want to ignore it, then it's entirely up to them. All these theories, there's probably some truth in all of them, you know, but we won't know until we go back to what I figure is, you know, the source, the collective, whatever.